Hello friends and fellow gamers, today we have a super exciting video that I've been really itching to make. We finally have got ourselves a brand new hero, literally after months and months and months, if not over a year of playing in Angel Legion. And this hero is so cool and so good. I love the art style, I love the character's abilities. So today we're going to be taking a look at her, telling you what I think she's good at, what she might not be good at, where she's going to sit in your team, and hopefully breaking this down for you. Because this Chinese New Year event on Angel Legion offers some really cool stuff, and this new hero just makes it even that much greater. So folks, let's get into today's video. But before we do, let me remind you that today's video is sponsored by Angel Legion. So please do check out this free-to-play game. You can get it on the App Store for iOS. You can get it on the Google Play Store for Android. And it's also available on Steam. Down below in the description, you can find some codes that you can use that you can go ahead and redeem using a link in the description, which will get you some free rewards. And it is now February, so there's new codes for you guys down there too. And as well, guys, there's some contests happening on the Angel Legion Discord. They are giving away a free copy of the brand new hero. And as well, Legend Killer, one of the best players in the world, is giving away one of the rarest armor sets in the game so if you guys want to get some of that stuff available for free go join the discords i'll put a link in the description for that as well anyway let's go check out this brand new hero guys i'm very excited so here she is the arcane scholar rihanna and she has some really, really dope abilities. So let's just start by taking a look at them. First of all, her attack is just against the front enemies. It deals a little bit of damage. Not an exciting basic attack, but no heroes really do have incredible basic attacks in this game. It's more about the active skills and the passives. So let's move on to those first. First, we have the Super Arcane Wave, which deals 250% of magic damage against the enemies in the front row with a 100% chance to increase two allies in the same column. So that's going to be herself and the person either in in front or behind her it's going to increase their energy by three points and then there's a 100 chance to remove all debuffs from those allies in the same column and if you're using scythe maya you get the additional bonus of not only gaining the energy you will get added resistance which will give you 100 protection against abnormal abilities which will then last for one whole round protecting you from things like stun and negative effects and this is such a powerful powerful ability because really if you don't use scythe maya you can still benefit from the energy feed and the purify ability and the only hero that really functions like this with a purify effect is sakura dancer and sakura dancer purifies everybody whereas this hero just purifies herself and the person either in front or or behind her. So that's the first thing we can talk about here. Firstly, she's not really going to replace Sakura Dancer in a lot of game modes, mainly because just a one target purify is not as good as a full team purify. So in that case, she's not going to replace Sakura Dancer, meaning Sakura Dancer will remain one of the best healers in the game. But it is cool that we have a hero offering purify that isn't just Sakura Dancer, which adds to the versatility when it comes to team building. That said, the energy feed from this hero, I think, is going to be bigger and better than that of Magic Arrow. The energy may only be three points, whereas Magic Arrow gives four, I believe, because she gains one on herself at the end of a round, which means Magic Arrow gets infinite active skills, whereas I don't know if we have that ability. Actually, we'll have to go ahead and check. Let's see. Oh, no, there you go. 100% chance to increase one point of energy before she acts. So she does regain energy. She gets four points, three from her active skill, one from this passive right here. So there you go. She does have that, which is absolutely dope to see. So she is going to be doing infinite active skills just like Magic Arrow, which means she is a replacement for Magic Arrow. She is also a combo hero, which means she's going to benefit your prey more. That is really interesting. The only thing that's going to make her unattractive for people is the fact that Magic Arrow is a lot easier to get than this new hero. But given people are going to be playing this game for a while and picking up hero copies, it's not going to be hard to eventually get all the copies of Arcane Scholar or Rihanna that you'll need. So she is basically a flat replacement power creep for the hero that we already know and love, Magic Arrow. As well, we haven't even looked at her other ability, Magic Tide. And this says whenever she gains energy, she's going to randomly add one point of energy to to another friendly unit and we've never ever seen that before that means she's just randomly going to give energy to your team which means over the entirety of the fight you're going to get more active skills than you would if you were using magic arrow because magic arrow deals only energy feed to herself and the person she's in the same column as this additional ability when she gains energy herself basically is going to feed energy to randomly 
anyone and that's awesome and all of these skills when they're fully upgraded become a hundred percent chance to happen so it basically means before she acts she gains energy then that effect will trigger giving energy to someone else on your team then she'll do her active skill which will gain energy do the purify effect and if you're running scythe maya also give herself and the person she's with resistance and then because she gained energy she's going to give another point of energy from magic tide so all in all she's giving great amounts of energy she's a really efficient hero and i do think that she's probably now one of if not the best hero in the game when it comes to pure support in fact she is the best hero for giving energy she's better than raging angel she's better than magic arrow she is just an all-round must have hero so where is she gonna be good well, first of all, the ability to feed energy to your team is always going to be valuable in pretty much any game mode. It's going to ensure that you get multiple active skills off. It is always best to pair her with a hero whose active skill is devastatingly strong. Heroes that come to mind for this are going to be heroes such as, let's go with Filial Spirit, who deals a ton of damage in the simulated alpha. If you can feed energy to her, she's going to deal active skills every round, ensuring that she does as much damage as possible in boss fights. So, Filial Spirit in that regard, is absolutely a fantastic target for this energy feed ability. Although, maybe you want to consider someone like Deadly Shadow. Deadly Shadow has the ability to stun people, and therefore her active skill is super strong in fights, where if you can stun the opponent, you can really absolutely annihilate them and win, such as Battlefield, PvP, and other game modes where shutting off your opponents is going to save your life. Because there's a lot of game modes in this game where if you take an active skill from the opponent, you're going to die, right? The enemies are really strong. Think Tower of Dreams in Idle Heroes, where there's the game mode that's just so brokenly powerful and you losing to them or even getting a hit from them could potentially wipe your team well cc is really strong in this game for that regard because in this game enemies can become power crept to be so far more powerful than you are that you have to use cc to stop them from attacking you so for that reason giving energy to someone like Deadly Shadow is super strong because you can hopefully CC lock opponents. In addition, that's exactly why Time Guardian would be another great target. Let's see if there's a Time Guardian here. Yes, there is. So Time Guardian, another fantastic hero who I think is phenomenal. She has the ability to stun opponents and she synergizes really nicely with a Scythe Maya as well. And there brings another thing I wanted to talk about. Scythe Maya. Now, for the first time ever, there is an imbalance when it comes to heroes in the game. If we go take a look at Maya and you go ahead to her skills and you adjust her weapon, you can see that actually I'm in the way. Let me just move my camera real quick. If you take a look where I was, there are lists of heroes that benefit from the particular artifact in question. So if you're using the katana on Maya, as you can see down here, there is Swordmaster, Phantom Blade, Shura Killer, Deadly Shadow, and Tenka Fubu as heroes who will benefit from that. If you go take a look at the rifle, you have Element Sprite, Butterfly Girl, there's Bounty Hunter, Dark Shooter, and Saint of Orleans. But then, if you take a look at the unique Scythe 5, we have a big old list of six heroes. We have Valkyrie, Time Guardian, Justice Knight, Flame Witch, Mulan, Filial Spirit, and the new hero, Arcane Scholar, Rihanna. And for that reason, Scythe has a lovely collection of heroes now that makes it a much more powerful artifact. But you know what that also suggests? It suggests that at some point in the future, we're going to get a new hero for the rifle team, because there is an empty space here, and a new hero for the Katana team, which is going to add more and more interesting ways of improving and building your team. So maybe for now, Scythe is the best artifact because there is much more better heroes to choose from, but does it necessarily mean that you need to run her on a Scythe team? Well, no, you can actually run her on a team that doesn't have Scythe, because the only thing you're getting by using the Scythe is that resistance ability, which yes, is fantastic, but still you can get all of her benefits apart from that resistant ability if you're using her on a different kind of team. So don't think that you have to run a Scythe team. It just makes it attractive if you want to go ahead and run Valkyrie and Time Guardian. But one thing about these heroes in the Scythe team is they only become slightly better by running the Scythe. Now, for a lot of game modes, that slightly better is enough to make the difference, such as one extra attack from Filial Spirit really really can massively change your damage numbers over the course of a full fight in simulated alpha. But in some game modes, the difference between running Katana and getting Fortitude on Maya is enough to justify not running Scythe, even though you may still be running Valkyrie, the new hero, Arcane Scholar, or even a Filial Spirit or Time Guardian. So perhaps that's something to consider when you're team building. So does it mean that Scythe is the only way to go? Absolutely not. You can still build a team in a myriad of ways that will be successful using the various artifacts here. For example, if Deadly Shadow is the cornerstone of your team, such as my team, 
you want to use the katana because she gets such a great benefit from using a katana on your team because it increases her crit which increases her chance to stun the bonus that you get on a time guardian is only about 10 percent for using a sight i'll take a 90 percent chance to stun and then have also deadly shadow with a really high chance to crit which is then going to stun opponents as well overrunning something else that said some people who do want to focus on one particular cc hero will definitely lean towards using arcane scholar because arcane scholar as i said at the beginning feeding that energy in to a cc hero is just so strong so do i think you need arcane scholar on your team moving forwards hell yes she's a really strong hero she's gonna replace magic arrow magic arrow has been great so far really powerful in every single game mode and i think it's time for her to step aside for the new queen on the block arcane scholar so hopefully you guys can pick up your copies this week hopefully you guys can download the game and maybe enter those competitions and get yourself a free copy if you want to do that you can find information in the link below to their discord channel on angel legion if you aren't already you can join our discord channel as well if you want to have some fun there either way guys it's been an absolute pleasure and i really hope to see this hero in action very soon we will when we get her to ss on legend killers account be using her in the simulated alpha and potentially breaking the world record for the simulated alpha damage so if you want to catch that make sure to subscribe and stay tuned but until next time guys i hope you do download this game and i'll see you in the next one happy idling